Tonight, Maryland lawmakers are considering a new alert system. The purple alert would be used when people with special needs go missing. It's like the Amber Alert system for children at risk. Tonight, we caught up with a father and son on their way back from a hearing about the bill in Annapolis. And as our Rafael Sanchez Cruz discovered from their firsthand experience, they believe a new system could save lives. Tonight, Rashawn Williams' father tells me that he believes that if the purple alert existed when his son went missing, he believes it would not have taken six days to find him inside of a closet here at the Glenmont Metro Station. We first met Jimmy Hall back in October when he launched a region-wide effort to find his son, Rashawn Williams. His name is Rashawn Williams, but he asked to, sh to shiny boy. That's what we call him. 31 year old with Down syndrome went missing after he slipped away from his caretaker in Silver Spring. Because Rashawn is an adult, he did not qualify for an Amber Alert. Nearly a week later, Shawnee Boy was found at the Glenmont Metro Station. Everybody's on their cell phone now. Mm -hmm. He came in contact with at least 100 people. 20 of those people, maybe even 10, would have gotten the, received the alert, saw him, notified the authorities, whatever, he would have been found. Hall testified today in Annapolis in support of a bill that would create the purple alert in Maryland. It's almost similar to an amber or a silver alert, but it's for individuals with critical needs, such as Rashawn. The purple alert would apply for people 18 to 60 with cognitive impairment, intellectual or developmental disabilities, or brain injuries. The bill instructs Maryland State Police to create a system to quickly decide disseminate information to assist in finding the missing person. It also requires law enforcement training to share crucial details. Rashawn has a visible disability, but there are those who don't have a visible disability and are nonverbal. So who's going to assist them? So those are things that we need to make sure we're educated about. It's not about Rashawn anymore. It's about the future families now. Thank you, Rashawn. <laughs> Finally get to go eat. Yeah, yeah, for all your hard work today. If the bill is passed, the Purple Alert program would go into effect October 1st, a year after Rashawn went missing. At the Glenmont Metro Station, Rafael Sanchez Cruz, WUSA 9.